Get any four chords and place two of them on the bottom and two of them on the top. I like to mix in, match them, so I put red and black on top and red and black on the bottom. Then you're gonna classic palm one of the cards in your right hand. So move one of the cards in your right hand and grip the deck in biddle grip, just like this. And a couple of actions are gonna happen at the same time. We're going to push this card with our index finger in this motion. So you're basically pushing the card to the left and then forward so that it can arch just like this. Beautiful, beautiful motion. And we're gonna get a pinky break above the bottom card so that when we rotate the deck in this open way, we can rotate that card as well. Notice how it rotates around the middle finger. So this just leaves the last card, which is the 10 of hearts which we're going to rotate slightly in this position. And we do this by using our right middle finger in order to just push it, similar like we did over here with our index finger, but we do it over here with our middle finger. So, card is palmed, we get a pinky break above the bottom card, we get in position and then move. We turn, we start pushing this card, we hold on to the 10 of diamonds, we keep pushing over there, and then we rotate that card as well. And from this point on, what I like to do is I come forward towards the 10 of spades, I grip those two cards, then I drop the 10 of hearts, and I turn the packets around. For the closer, you can pretty much do anything as long as you have a certain rhythm to it. So you palm those cards, don't palm two cards, obviously. Get that pinky break, turn around, and then here you can play around. You can even put the card underneath the Ten of Hearts and hold it just like this. So when I'm spinning, instead of putting it on top, I put it underneath so I can hold it with my index finger. And then we have this uh, beautiful stop picture over here. Uh, the way that I usually do it myself is I come over here, I turn, and then, oh that was a lie, I never do this, I never, I think I was just improvising right now. Let me show you. So first thing, I palm the card without nobody seeing, I turn around, I spin, and then here's what I do, I come down towards the ten of hearts, I grip those two cards, and then this one over here, I put it. And then I drop the entire deck and TG deck flip it in order to arrive in this position. So as long as you end it in a beautiful way, you're free to experiment. And if you want to cover the fact that you're palming a card, I suggest you use Di Vernon's palm, where you're just swinging the card into your right hand. And from that position, it's just so much easier to do anything that you wish. There you have it, guys, the cross production.